2019, 6th of October, Marvel Stadium in Melbourne, yeah. UFC 243. It's going to be a date that you are going to remember forever and an event and, and a place. Yeah, it, uh, it went how everyone wanted it to go. <laughs> like we all wanted to win and we all, we all wanted to get like the, the three wins for Eugene in the gym. So yeah, it could, couldn't, have, uh, couldn't have gone better to be honest, I think. Yeah, millions of people will remember that at that time and um, a lot of them, those millions, will remember two debut fighters in the UFC putting on the fight of the night. Yeah, it was, uh, it wasn't quite how I expected it would go. Um, but I guess it just showed that uh, how much scene in a stage like that can affect somebody's willpower you know to, to, to want to win um, on paper and if you watched a lot of Jamie's past fights and my past fights you'd think I would I'd probably knock him out standing up like after a little bit of time and I would have him figured out but he uh, he, he showed up like a, a different fighter and had a huge amount of drive and willpower to win and, and and so did I, and luckily I had more, which I always think I will, but and, and because we're, we're sort of cut from the same cloth, it, 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 I guess after that performance, it, it created this crazy fight, and uh, yeah, we, we got awarded the fight of the night. So it was nice to get paid more than I uh, expected. <laughs> well, that was something that you'd spoken to me on three or four occasions. You, you were confident as hell in winning, but you said, I'm going there for the bonus. Yeah, I always, I'm always confident in winning. Like, I always think I'll win. Um, and I was going to go in there. I knew that I was going to perform in some way or another, you know. Uh, and I guess I performed in a, in a different way than what I thought I would. But I was, yeah, was going to get that bonus. Um, and I was going to get it. I had to go out on my shield, which I, which it was looking like we were both going to end up like that. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very pleased and very happy with myself. Well, there was a bit of collateral damage because oh, yeah. uh, you broke his jaw in yeah. what round? Might have been two. I'm pretty sure it was in the second round when I started to land my right hand a lot more. And uh, his ear blew up as well quite badly. Um, but he, yeah, he did take a lot of collateral damage, but uh, he kept going. Yeah. You know, he kept going against all odds. And uh, yeah, I got some stitches. I got like a new, uh, new scar, so, so uh, it's all memories, you know, when I, you look in the mirror when I'm old. <laughs> so. Character building, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle wounds. Yeah, yeah. It, it was quite a decent uh, scratch, too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty deep, went to the bone. You could see my bone. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, I was more impressed with the cut man, like how good a job he did because I've had a lot of cuts and they bleed a lot and that one happened at the end of the round luckily and I thought it might hinder my vision, get in the way a little bit, you know, but man, the cut man was unreal. He completely clogged it up and it didn't really bleed at all. And uh, he told me it wasn't very big. And then I went, when I had a look in the change room afterwards, I was like, oh shit, that's pretty big. It was, it was a big cut, but uh, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, when you get fight of the night, it needs the pair of you to perform well. And as you say, Jamie was uh, certainly up to the task. Yeah. Um, some of those shots were real clean from you. Did yeah. you expect them to go down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit them hard and I hit them accurately a lot you know and uh in the same spot over and over i guess that's why the jaw broke and um yeah he was sort of still semi-coherent you know like he was i think it did uh daze him for the majority of the end of the fight like it was hard for him to to see my other shots come in and focus on what was going on and it, it caused him to sort of go into fight and flight mode you know so it made it a little bit easier for me to pick shots and stuff like that but yeah, I was, I was surprised he didn't go down and stay down. You know, we, we all talk about fighting yourself to a standstill, but you fought yourself to a knee still because oh, you were on, yeah. on your knees swinging with the oh, man, final bell. I was so tired and um, 
I was down on the ground and I just wanted to <laughs> hit him again. You know, I hit him one last time and I, the, my legs wouldn't work and they wouldn't, I couldn't stand up. So I just swung as hard as I could from my knees <laughs> and it actually connected pretty good. Like it, it, it made a big crack when we were in there and uh, yeah, that could have been like a bit of the damage that actually happened to his jaw. So. Uh, your, f your first fight at lightweight, yeah. um, do you think that was why he didn't go down with some of the shots? Are you a bit, you know, not as powerful uh, at, at that weight? Or? No, oh, maybe. I assume maybe a little bit, but. Uh, you think he was just tough? <laughs> yeah, he is very tough. You know, he's like Irish, fighting Irish. But, um, no, I think I still hit as hard as I usually do, and if not, faster. Um, yeah, just a, like I said, you know, situations like that, you you can step up to the plate or you or you don't, and he, he stepped up, you know, and yeah, he showed like a lot of heart and a lot of willpower, and yeah. One of the things that I know will be pleasing to everybody around you and you yourself is how you handled that weight cut because <laughs> uh, you, you were the only one that was confident <laughs> that you were going to do uh, it. Yeah, yeah, everyone was a bit worried about the weight. I made a piece of piss. Um, yeah, I've made that weight easier at 70 kilos than I have at 75. Um, and I didn't really tell anybody there when I was doing my cut. Like I didn't. I did a little bit the night before. Didn't tell any of like Eugene and stuff like that. Just went and did it with my uh, nutritionist, dietitian. Geordie and uh, then I woke I had a sleep and slept off just over half a kilo woke up and cut the last 400 grams or something like that and man I felt sweet like I had a coffee I uh, went down and checked my weight jumped on the scales and I was light I was under the championship weight so I grabbed, grabbed a coffee drank a coffee and uh, yeah went to the weigh in like a box of bees you know I was mucking around with Israel and yeah, it was quite unreal and one of, the, one of the things that I found a little bit trickier that I need to get used to is moving with that weight, like taking all that weight off and then putting like a, I put on about six and a half, seven kilo. So starting to move with that on again is something I need to have a more practice at and get a little bit more used to because I can't quite throw at the same output and velocity as I do at 77 when I don't really cut any weight. So yeah, lessons learnt. And, yeah, it's good. You come back from Melbourne. You had a, a bit of a, a rest and recreation down in Christchurch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went down the home for three days. So that was awesome. Uh, pretty much did what you said. I rested. <laughs> I had a few pads with my old coach Dan, and uh, lifted some weights and just yeah, it was cool. Caught up with some some good mates of mine and. Um, then I came back up here on Saturday and started teaching Whoop to Wire again on Monday. And uh, so, head off to uh, Phuket on Friday. Now with Alex for uh, about 10 or 12 days. And uh, hopefully in that time I will have an opponent for 245 in Vegas. So that's my goal, is to fight there. Uh, that would that would be a dream because yeah. you'd have Alex and, and Kai of course on the same card. Yeah, yeah, I just that's cool, and uh, I like having my team there. And I just want to fight again before the end of the year because the next card is going to be uh, not till February, you know, which I think is actually here. So that's uh, it's too long for me. Yeah, you know, I don't like. I did all this work to get in the UFC. I don't really want to have a good win and just ride it for ages. I just want to win fight again, win, fight again, win until my world So, uh, yeah, I want to jump back in as soon as I can. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks for talking to us, mate.